afternoon everybody. November 7th, 2020. Shelbyville, Indiana. Automated weather observation 2043 Zulu. Wind 190 zero at 07. Seven and just a little spunky, but not horrible. Clear prop. Power paraglider getting ready to launch here, Blackhawk pilot. Didn't catch his name, but really nice guy. Helmet secure, engine warming, mag check done, string lines clear out. Timber needs a tweak. Seat belts. Alright. Sit here and let her warm up for a minute. Looks like he's getting ready to go. Button tag traffic, 945 Lima. Two fire officials, 18, 5,700 and Shelbyville traffic, experimental power parachute 729 or Mike Papa departing from the north end of Taxiway Bravo on Taxiway Bravo. We'll be exiting the area to the south after departure, Shelbyville. Yeah, 
Skyman 905 Lima, left crossing, runway 18, Butter County. Treatment, Southside 20519 is going to uh, cross over runway uh, 23 and then to the left out. Traffic, I'm going to help with 5 Lima, left downwind, runway 18, Butter County. Boys, not nice. It's nice not having to worry about underexposure. Eagle Trigger Creek traffic, Bonanza turning left downwind, runway 21, Eagle Creek. up here, it's not fair land. We'll see. Visibility one. <laughs> All right, there's some activity way out down there. Long ways over. Man, it'll take me a while to get anywhere because it's kind of breezy. Breezy and bumpy.
trees down there, nice. Yeah, that oak we can be munching on a little bit. That'll keep us busy. All right, I see some harvest action out this way. shooting through string line and everything else. I think we beat this one to death. We'll go ahead and go. Move through my perp watch right there. That's what I like. So I got plenty of maneuvering room. I have great light. I got no obstacles to worry about. So 
on to the next one. I see it over there. Got an hour and a half. figure with all this dust. If he's waiting on that semi over here coming instead of the wagons. If that's a Carson semi or not. Selfie! Shadow selfie! Okay, here comes the semi. Isn't this fun? Aren't you glad I brought you guys along? It gives me somebody to talk to. That way I don't look so stupid talking to myself. <laughs> I just picture you out in YouTube land. It's kind of weird at first, but you kind of get used to it. Just talking to a silly camera, you know? I don't see a camera. I see all your shining faces right there. We are on the hunt. For sure. I got to watch these lines. I see a tower there, tower there. Should be one right ahead of us. There it is. That's definitely smoke. That could be smoke as well. We're not a whole lot going on down here. Alright, I see a truck going on. Oh, there's one up north. I was fooled. Stuff going on, but there wasn't any dust. I think I see. I'm gonna cheat. And uh look through the zoom lens. That's why it's handy to have a big zoom lens. Yep, definitely something going on over there, but we got this dude here, we got a guy plowing. We can drop down and snag him real quick. Since we're past these lines. We're down there to Johnson County, I think. Looking for Needham. Where's Needham? There's Needham right there. Go down and get this guy here. Go, that's a fire. Hell, that's not even dang, so I got Wild goose chase right here. I'm gonna have to go back north, I think. To get some, we'll pick up this guy first. Since we're here, looks like they burnt this field. We'll get a little variety here. guy since we're here. We've got another one over there. But he's plowing and that's too close to these lines. Let's pop over and go up here. Man, that's a long ways up though. Jeez, I'll keep.
Yeah, man. Got a tractor down here. Any of them on the way by? Like, let's see, a 
trying to find, yeah, that would be uh, Black Ketters. Let's go over and say hi to Black Ketters, shall we? That's where we're right here. Say hey, Rob. Rob Black Ketters, a friend and co-worker where I work. They'll fly by. They won't be expecting me from this way. <laughs>
Yeah, this is great. Great time of evening here. Unfortunately, I got kind of light on the harvest people. Got a few, but they're not real packed in like they were, but we got a lot of fields to go over here, so we'll get some more. Bump up the ice a little bit, since it's getting darker. Say hi to Bert. Connors Real Drive here, Moni 201, control with Kilo Echo is our left outwind for 18 uh, Touch and Go, Connors. Let's go see Bert, shall we? Hey, Bert. Uh, smoky down here. Alright, let's go see Bert. Get a little chilly up here. That's such a 
cool view.
Yeah, Taylor Craft has the uh, paraglider inside. Windsock down here anywhere in the field or along the fence line. Don't see it out here in the field. She came up here earlier and tried to look for it. my ears man mm. yep. oh, shut the bed all right let's see we gotta plug that first untangle all this crap oh, god forbid I ever let sit down in water I'd be screwed man Babies, nice flight. Nice flight. Alrighty then, taxi back, man. They're doing the beans down here inside the airport grounds. Hope my one sock didn't blow in the bean field or it'll get munched by said combine. I don't want my windsock munched. Turn it off before we get to the fod here. Look at all those rocks. That's just gnarly. Some would say gnarly. But I wouldn't. 
Oh wait, too late. I just did. Tell it off. Camera this way. Time for our usual post-flight chat. Don't you guys enjoy that? I enjoy that. Get it while it's fresh in my mind. You can see my helmet here. At least I shaved. Flight yesterday, I was all grizzed up, man. When I'm on vacation, I don't shave. All right, I gotta dig my phone out of my shirt. I keep it down there with my shirt tucked in so it doesn't go anywhere in case the lanyard comes off. All righty. Let's see. Pause, save. Nope. Wow, another 56 mile flight. That's about the same as we did yesterday. Sweet. Um, title, actually, no, that's the one. Yep. So this is a nice trip. <laughs> Looking for farmers over to Fairland, over to our house. We ended up way over in freaking Johnson County right near I-65, uh, north of Whiteland there. Or actually, no, south of Whiteland between Whiteland and Franklin. Where we found a good place and we really ripped it up. See, that's what happens when you go crazy on a field right there. But there's our flight path. It's kind of wide. Yeah, I got to go zoom out even further. But we did a bunch. It's a good time. Caught some farmers. Not as many as I'd hoped, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping for more, but they were really spread out and didn't see any there. Excuse me, I'm saving this track so that it doesn't get lost. Now it's good. And then we came back to Fairland, got some pictures of my house on my son Alex outside. Bert, waving at me on the deck. I got some pictures of him. Got some pictures of my house, the sunset, up to Fairland, saw a fire truck coming out of the fire department, Fairland Volunteer Fire Department. And then we saw where he was going. There was a, looked like it must have been a car fire over on the interstate. Uh, I saw an ambulance there and a couple cops and the fire truck pulled up there and it looks like they'd hit a fire extinguisher on it or something. The hood was kind of cracked a little bit and it looked like there was all kinds of residue on the ground out in front of it. So bad day for somebody. I got some pictures I'll show you guys. You'll see them on Facebook or my website, wherever. Speaking of website and internet and stuff, I got the fiber optic cable laid yesterday to back to my house. So hopefully early to midweek, I will have fiber to the home internet. I've been running on Sprint Cellular here for the last couple of years and it's been eh, marginal, but better than the DSL I had. So I'll have 300 meg up and down. I'll be able to get those YouTube videos up there just like that. Upload my pictures, get my website up to date. I'm like a year behind on my website. ScottRichardsonPhotography.com for those who are interested. Check it out. I swear to God I'll get it up. And I'm not going to put as many pictures on there as I do on Facebook. I tend to blast too many up there. So I'll do the pics and put those up. So it'll be good. So let's get this thing fueled up and get out of here and go get a beer and sit by the fire with the missus. Sound like a plan? I think it does.